Cause that's a zenith Causing me to sleep and I ain't playing it Yeehaw! So the topic, we're back with another video. I am Strange Wang, and today I got a movie review for Sweet Girl. But before we get into that, be sure to click those social media links in the description box below, along with the coffee account and the Patreon. Some financial help would be fantastic because I don't know if you can hear it, but the video doesn't sound as good as it should because this piece of shit microphone went out. Razor, go sniff nuts, suck toes for breakfast. Your microphones suck, but nonetheless. We got a review for Sweet Girl, so let's get down the brass tacks. I gave Sweet Girl 4.3 out of 10 wings. Why? 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 Because the filmmaking in this, the acting, the action scenes in this action movie, they are good enough. If you watch a lot of movies or a lot of movie reviews, you know I left out one important bit, and that's the story. I left the story out because I don't think the story is good enough. The story is fine until a plot twist. And later I'm going to talk about the plot twist and there will be spoilers. So you've been warned once. Spoiler alert. You've been warned twice. I'm not telling you a third time. But before we get to that plot twist, so we have to sit through a movie that is mediocre and that movie is about an hour and a half long so in that hour and a half we have a basic revenge story led by jason momoa who has the look but doesn't have the it factor he doesn't have that likability the charm whether it's something like a schwarzenegger or even a jaw Con van damme dwayne johnson very modern example he doesn't have that it factor i don't know what it could be, but sooner or later he's going to have a film that hits. Aquaman, that was the closest one we got to an it factor. Very likable in that movie. Somewhat. He's a good person to have on the team. He just isn't someone that I personally like leading films. But that's just my opinion. You clicked on the video to hear my opinion, so there you go. But next, we do get, after the hour and a half, we do get the twist. The twist happens. And personally, I think the twist is... Terrible. We found out Jason Momoa's daughter, Isabel Mercedes. That's the actress who plays her. She was very good in, uh... What's that Mark Wahlberg movie? I don't know. It's on the screen right now. But, very... She was very good in that movie. So when I saw her in this movie, I was like, sweet. We get to see something else she can do. Yay! And it just didn't work. Because we find out that his daughter, Isabel Mercedes, and I'm probably butchering that name. I, I can't read what the fuck. But we find out that Isabel has actually been her father, Jason Momoa. And that's when it, it goes out the window for me. My The smidge of emotion I had for this and these characters in this plot. Out the window. Mentally out the window. I picked up the cell phone. I was Googling restaurants that made chicken cutlets at 8.32 in the morning. Couldn't find any, but mentally checked out. Oh, really? Wow. Well, that's unfortunate. This twist happens, you out the door. You Googling, seeing where, what place makes chicken cutlets at 8.32 in the morning. I'm gone. I don't want to be here anymore. But I still have 25 more minutes of this movie. And it's not because she's a female or anything like that, but it just doesn't make any fucking sense. Because Jason Momoa is this big boxer, and he gets killed by one man. She's 18, looks 14. She does train in MMA because her father is a fighter, owns a gym, whatever the case may be. But she kills three men like it's a piece of cake. So... For me, personally, I cannot discipline my belief because it doesn't make any fucking sense. And then she fights the guy that kills Jason Momoa and takes him out. There's just too many plot conveniences in this movie to make it worthwhile. There's a lot better movies out there. That's a fact. There's a lot better movies out there that doesn't take a stupid twist and force it into a movie to make a movie that's meh to make it interesting 
they tried, and I can't knock them for trying. However, that shit whack. Sweet Girl, it's a basic action thriller that would have been better if you would have stuck to that. But there's a skip for me. Oh, they can do it? better. There are many similar films like this that are much better. So I suggest you watch those and skip this because there's nothing right home to my about. But tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. Are you interested in seeing it if you haven't seen it? I don't know. That's what the comment section is for. Scroll back up. Hit the like button. Share the video. And subscribe. It's not a game. It's a red skin.